And welcome to Depth Camera Central Volume 33.4. Again, we're back with Luxonics Depth AI OpenCV Developer Kit. And what you see here is multiple AI inference models running on a Raspberry Pi. This is the old SunFounder uh, car kit. I love this thing. I did a bunch of projects last year at the University of Washington. What you see in front of you there is the Oak D with the left and right side stereo side imagers, 1280 by 720 and global shutter. And the middle is the 4K 30 frames per second rolling shutter camera. And this is the Oak One, uh, which also has that 4K 30 frames per second. And they both have the Intel Movidius Myriad X VPU running at 4 trillion calculations per second. And then also to my left, I've also set this up to remote in over the uh, a VN caster to the Raspberry Pi. And I want to show this to people because I think this gets lost when you're thinking about certain proof of concepts where you want to run an embedded platform, an embedded project out in the field headless with no screens um, or anything like that to interact. You can use a spatial computer, a Magic Leap 1, uh, you know, a HoloLens 1, a HoloLens 2. You could probably even, you know, utilize various other virtual reality devices and then port it in that way as well. So it's important for you guys to see how that interacts and how you can visualize um, these multiple AI inference models running on a $35 camera, which is uh, simply phenomenal. But let's come back over here. What I wanted to show you how to set this up, as long as you have all the uh, dependencies installed for Python, uh, and, and I'll actually put one of those uh, uh, instructions here for the link that you can follow for each one of these cameras. But what you're going to do is just simply type in Python 3 uh, space depth AI underscore demo dot uh, py uh, and then space dash dev space list and that what that's going to do is give you all of the depth AI cameras uh, that are currently enumerated on the Raspberry Pi so you can see that right there I have port 1.3 and 1.2 set up so if I want to uh, run one of these Python files which would be the depth AI demo file which is what I have here I just have a, a, a convolutional neural net running on this side detecting my face and depth and on the other side is just an object detector 20 class okay and what I want to do is just essentially run Python 3 space depth AI space demo um, pi uh, dash dev 1.3 that's the enumerator for this port and then you can run that in one command file and then you're going to open up another uh, command file and simply just type in the other one of dash dev 1.2 and this is what you're going to see so think about all the different implementations you can have especially in a Raspberry Pi now because look at this this is 30 frames per second I essentially have two different neural networks both running on a, a Raspberry Pi 4 and at the same time and they're both maintaining 30 frames per second both in the neural net uh, and in the RGB and that's fantastic and then you can also discern depth at the same time this was extraordinarily difficult um, in the past <laughs> when we're trying to use Intel RealSense cameras and and you know the Google uh, compute sticks uh, and various other you know machine learning algorithms we had to do stuff in the cloud there's all these different uh, bits and pieces that we had to do and this is so much easier so much more streamlined and efficient and as engineers that's exactly what we're always looking for um, you know when we're iterating and, and going through all of the possibilities and probabilities uh, within these new emerging technologies in the in, and in these new markets so I, I hope this helped you understand how to implement and install this it's actually very simple it's very streamlined they have done a ton of work Brandon Giles and the whole uh, Luxonis team deserve a ton of credit and OpenCV and all their collaborators. You guys are unbelievable. Um, I'm learning more and more each day from each one of you. So thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And, and also, thank you to everyone out there who's tuning into this channel. Uh, I've received a ton of feedback over the last 10 days in regards to all the videos I've created and how many people they've been helping. And that means a lot to me. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night.